Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing here too much or what I'm going to talk to you about, but um, yeah, this is my channel. I'll talk about investments, economics, what's going good, what's going bad for me, all that good stuff. Um, I guess to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of a little personal banker at a bank, a big bank here. I don't I dropped out of school around 2019, 2020 or so, once, you know, the world fell apart, COVID came in, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I guess then I worked at a candy store for a bit. I worked my old high school job. That was fun. And, um, yeah, I kind of found my way into a little teller position, just coming in, making all these deposits. And, well, you know, you get to know people, and um, here I am soon enough couple years later or so went from teller to personal banker you know but yeah anyways economics and stuff what I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, yeah stocks are at all-time highs I've seen a lot going on I mean what can I say here you know, even when I was at the candy store, I guess it's weird just seeing these cycles come in and out, I guess, so to say. And I guess how fast things have been going or how they felt they've been going. You know, I was at the candy store where, you know, I'm sure you guys all saw all those ships on the coast of California here. All these goods trying to enter the United States after we printed so much money, gave out so many stimulus checks, all this printed unemployment all this PPE loans, which I'm sure some of most a lot of them, <laughs> you know, from what I've seen, the banking banking industry has just been fraudulent to say the least. And yeah, we're kind of I think we're still working off all that inventory we brought in. You know, you know, when I worked at the candy store, like I said a couple of years ago, where all these ships were on the Bay of California here waiting to dock. You know, I mean, some of those goods were what we were ordering. You know, I worked at, um, we mainly sourced all these, we, we were a candy shop and we had, mainly we sold a lot of foreign candies here in the U.S. So a lot of our shipments and stuff came from abroad, abroad. And I'd saw, I, I would put in these orders and we were ordering, you know, let's say we order 10 candy bars and then on the shipment, the one that would come in, we'd maybe get three, five significantly less than what we wanted you know there was this whole supply shock from what was going on in the economy at that point in time back in like 2021 i want to say you know huge inflationary pressures with all this money printed all this demand that started coming out out of nowhere because you know obviously we printed it and gave this money out to people like you and i and then we went out and spent it ordered a bunch of online goods or stuff from abroad we don't make anything here and it kind of came here to the United States so I saw these trends kind of in real time as where you know in order to get the 10 candy bars we wanted we might order 20 25 30 30 30 bars of candy or 30 boxes you know of this product just hoping that we would get the 10 candy bars or 10 10 boxes that we wanted in general so it was crazy to see in real time I know other businesses too just talking to all the other local business owners around here they saw this they were doing the same thing you know everybody was over ordering and this obviously went to the manufacturers they saw all this demand that they could not meet because the whole economy was shut down in China and wherever the hell else in the world but mostly China I would say I'm not an expert but who who knows so yeah we would eventually manufacturing caught up and then obviously you order 30, 25 30 candy bars and then you would that's what you would be getting obviously you'd get 25 30 candy bars not the 10 that we were getting for <laughs> a five six month period of time when the economy was was booming it was just fake money in my opinion but you know demand was high for a long time and still is relatively resilient now but we'll obviously get into that and then kind of getting to the point now where you know I'm obviously at the bank I in the banking sector a little bit I'm obviously not not in finance or anything like that I would say you know I'm just kind of a boots on the ground in retail banking but um you know when I go out and when I talk to merchants and I see you know these same people and they're talking more about 
just working through the supply that they have, you know, it's almost, we over ordered, we ordered so much, you know, during this time period, it all was sitting on the coast, obviously everyone was talking about that, now it's all here, but inflation has gotten so high and the consumer has gotten so weak, it seems like, you know, I live in the same economy too. And I talk to the business owners around here too, where they see a weak consumer, or maybe at some of these restaurants, they'll come in with like a family of four and they'll split one burger or something like that. Just seeing the habits of consumers as inflation has, you know, risen so much as far as the housing, the food, the gas, all that stuff has come in so much now to where it's obviously it's gone past where what wages are growing at you know i mean wages have gone up sure but versus inflation i mean it's it's really gone down over the past two three years the affordability of everything just about and you know yeah back to kind of where i see us now just in an environment where we have all this inventory because you know i talked to so many people who thought this this demand would go on for forever and ever just they would model it up going off into infinity and that's just not how it works i mean the savings rate for the average consumer i mean we're back down to where we were in 2019 before the pandemic even and it's it's interesting to see and interesting to think about i think i saw something else you know someone also have to double full fact check this but i think it's only like the top 20 percent of people even still have some of that stimulus money left over at all so it's everyone else just about we're back to where we were in 2019 or so and i don't think exactly the fourth quarter was as good as they say it is at least from my perspective i'm not going to quote any statistics or anything here i know obviously black friday all this stuff things were up as far as the amount of money and revenue brought in but um i have doubts i haven't been able to find any statistics on it maybe you guys can can help me but I haven't been able to find any statistics as far as, you know, the money is up maybe 7 8%. I think that's what it was for Black Friday or so. That's what I've seen. I'm not talking about the whole holidays as a whole, but, you know, obviously sales and revenue being up. But I, I doubt that the goods that they went through, I think maybe like you sold maybe 21 or 20, let's just say 20 widgets on Black Friday last year in 2020 two years ago jesus in 2022 but now in 2023 here obviously black friday you have the holiday season you only sell 15 widgets or but they're obviously at a higher price so i think that would be my bet just as what's going on but that maybe that's just me talking out my you know what but yeah back to the point you know as far as the people at least in my local economic area i've seen people holding back almost per se you know they're talking about not ordering more inventory they're talking about oh we're just having to get through the stuff that we have here and now we're in um, almost end of January and it will we'll start to see what the economy as a whole is saying because this is obviously just my local part of the economy you all have you all live somewhere you all have an own local economy that will differ or maybe maybe it's the same but you know there's obviously more variance in it as far as each local economy that we live in here and mine, I'd say it is more of a luxury, a lot of restaurants, a lot of art galleries, really nice, really high vacation spot that we live in. But it's that's usually pretty resilient from what I've seen in the, my four years or so working down here. But um, it seems things are slowing down. It seems like consumer patterns, especially when I talk to, like I told you, talking to these restaurants and stuff like that, where people like I said, just splitting an order of food, not ordering, not as much travel to these gas stations, you know, with these higher gas prices, um, all sorts of stuff that, you know, you don't want to see in an economy that you would expect to keep, continue to grow and grow and grow per se. But, um, Hey, what do I know? This is just my local. This is where I'm at. Um, I'm more than happy to listen to any discussions that you guys have. I'd love to hear what's going on in your own local economies, but um, yeah, please let me know. I'll see you guys next time, maybe, who knows.